Hello, my name is Ricardo Costa. I am an Ag Strategy Manager with the Nature Conservancy in Wisconsin. And I'm here with today with Leslie. She is a goat and lamb farmer up here in northern Wisconsin. And my um, farm is Cylon Rolling Acres and we raise grass-fed goat and um, lamb on pasture year-round with the exception of winter, of course, because we're in northern Wisconsin. We still do some um, actually conservation practices in winter to help with building our soil health. We can share a little bit about that later. So there is some possibility there, even though we're feeding hay in winter, but we're predominantly raising the goats and sheep on pasture and then selling our meat direct to consumers with a little bit of wholesale business. But most of our consumers are across the country, um, in addition to some concentration here in the Midwest. We purchased our farm over 10 years ago, but actually started running the farm about eight to nine years ago. It's a decent sized farm, but it's pretty small compared to farm sizes today. Um, and we knew we needed to be creative in how we utilize our land and um, raising goats and sheep sheep, um, aside from a market opportunity of um, our, our region and our country continues to become more diverse in population and that diversity comes with um, different taste preferences and, and food demand. Um, so that was part of our, our draw to raising the sheep and goats, but then utilizing conservation practices of our farm as we started to look at ways to raise our goats and sheep. Um, I learned about um, rotational grazing practices through USDA's NRCS office and the more I learned about it, the more it just um, made total sense, not only for how we manage our animals, but also managing our land and water resources and our soil. And then also just simply from being a new farmer, it really has helped us keep our cost for um, raising cost of production as a farmer down. So on top of all you're doing here on your farm, mm -hmm. you're also a founder member of one of the groups that TNC and FSF support. Do you mind sharing for us the reason behind why you wanted to found a group and how that helped you to shape what you're doing today. Sure. Um, I think being a part of the Western Wisconsin Conservation Group has been really important um, for our local community in um, not only forming, but also, you know, it's really the idea of farmers coming together and learning more about best practices in conservation and, um, and also being able to learn from each other and um, Find, you know, it's really easy to look online or go to conferences and hear from the experts or the superstars in conservation yeah. and see what they're doing. But to be able to put it into practice locally is, um, I think, more impactful than um, doing some of those other things. And, and so I think um, our the WWCC um, has been a a really important piece for that and I and I find that like also like not only just for us as farmers but also I think it's a way for us to also share um, what we're doing um, to be good stewards of the land and how we're continuing to improve um, within our community too and with our neighbors. As you know uh FSF and TNC, they have working very close, not only with your group, but seven across the state. Uh, what are the benefits in have that partnership? Some of the things that have been really valuable is helping connect us with resources. So cost share, pro cost share programs, even just the idea of what are some of the new practices that we could be looking at doing cost share programs. Um, and I'll, in the idea to help encourage farmers like myself or others to try out a practice on some land. I think also the, val the value of working with those organizations like yours um, has been, you know, getting us access to those experts, um, whether they're local experts, you know, local agency folks or other folks who've been beneficial or involved in research. And so I think pairing that mix of experts with local expertise yeah. and helping us be able to try it is really valuable for us as farmers. Um, and I think makes us better at continuing to do better for not, our, not only our farms, but our, our watershed here in our communities.